evening everyone it is Devin here as you probably know because you're on my channel and I look super extra right now because well I just took my hair down it was in this full bun but I um I had an event tonight so I got my hair and makeup done and yeah I just haven't taken my makeup off yet but while I was taking my hair done I was just thinking about how I always get so many questions about how I started my modeling career and any advice that I have to young models. So basically what I wanted to do was talk to you guys about how my whole career in modeling began. I started modeling when I was 14 years old in St. Louis, Missouri, which is where I'm from. And I was actually at a bar mitzvah where a local photographer approached me who was shooting the bar mitzvah, I guess. And was like, oh my gosh, you're so tall and skinny. Like if you're still um, skinny, when you get a little older, like call me. I was like, okay, cool. Like I felt so cool, you know, cause I was kind of not the cool girl. I was super tall, super skinny, super awkward and lanky and didn't have a lot of friends and no boys liked me and was bullied and so when this photographer approached me, I was like, oh my God, this is kind of cool. After that happened, I think it was in a couple months or maybe even right after where my mom called her and was like, I guess it was, I guess it was a little bit later because I didn't sign to my first agency till I was 15. So I guess it must've been, this was, I think in middle school. And then once I got to high school, my mom was like, okay, let's call her. She called the photographer. We did a photo shoot. It was like a little test shoot. I did my own hair and makeup. Somebody who's helping with the hair and makeup and styling was a woman who actually worked for the local magazine in St. Louis, Missouri. And she was like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. Like we should do an editorial together. Like if today goes well, and if you're interested. And I was like, okay, cool. So I did that shoot and it was fine. And the girl who uh, worked with the magazine was like, okay, cool. Like I'll contact you and so forth. So basically I then proceeded to do a little shoot, a little editorial for the local magazine in St. Louis. Um, nothing major. It was like literally on newspaper. I don't even think it was a magazine. It was like a newspaper, the local newspaper. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I remember when that came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm killing it. Like this is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Like people in my town are gonna see this. Like they're gonna see me in a magazine, like how cool. Anywho, after that, my mom was like, okay, we should take you to meet with local agencies in the area, which is, I'll get to at the end of this whole story, but that's what I would recommend people wanting to model to do. Anyways, I met with local agencies, a couple agencies. I ended up signing with West Models just because they were very much on the same page as me. I still really cared about school and sports. I was very into sports. I played every sport under the moon. I was not ready to just quit school and all of a sudden become a model. So they were like, we get that, we support that. Like we will help you get to where you wanna go. I was like, cool. So I ended up signing with them. And after that, I was 15. So it was kind of like a slow process. I had four years of high school left and I would just do little like local jobs. Like I do Neiman Marcus little shows. I would do um, any little like local magazines that they had, test shoots. Eventually I signed, I think that year, I went off to LA. My mom brought me to LA when I was 15 and I stayed in LA for like two weeks, signed with the agency in LA and did test shoots, a little job here and there. And then came back, finished the school year. Then the next year I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to New York. Actually before New York, I signed with Chicago, but I never spent time in Chicago, but I just signed with an agency in Chicago, but I never like went there and lived there and worked there. So I don't think I actually even did one job there, but I signed. Okay, so fast forward, sorry. When I was 16, I went to New York. My parents planned a family vacation there. And then my local agency in Missouri set up all like 10 appointments with agencies in New York. And I met with almost every agency, I feel like. Um, yeah, just every agency. Um, I remember the last appointment that I had was IMG Models. My mom was always the kind of woman that was like not wanting me to get my hopes up. So she's like, you know what? Like we love these other agencies. There was one other agency that I really, really liked that I was like gonna sign with. And she was like, yeah, you know what? Like you love that agency. We're gonna go with that agency. She just didn't want me to get my hopes up basically. So I was like, yeah, it's fine. Like I'm gonna go to IMG, like nothing's gonna happen. 
and I'm gonna sign with this other agency. And anyways, we went into the agency. I remember I had full like liner, like not cute, like full makeup, full eyeliner, lots of mascara, like these little green shorts, a black tank top. I was so tan because I was playing field hockey and lacrosse like all summer long and it was in the middle of the summer so I was just so dark. Um, I naturally get really tan, which no one ever believes, I guess, because I'm blonde and I try to avoid the sun <laughs> because my agency doesn't like when I'm too tan. They were like, okay, take off all your makeup. I was like terrified. I was in the bathroom like trying to like take off as little as possible. So I had like the tiniest bit of line. I thought like, oh my God, I can't wear no makeup. I took digitals. We had a conversation. They like looked at my book. The woman came back in and my mom and I are sitting there and she's like, you know, in order to be signed here, you have to have like 100% yes from every manager on the board. They have to all believe in you. And I was like, okay, cool, this is done. Like, let's just go. I wanna sign with the other agency. This is what I'm thinking. And she was like, and you got 100% yes. So um, yeah, we'd love to have you. And I just remember blanking out after that. I was like, me and my mom were just both like, I ended up signing with IMG. I came back like a month later in the summer to do a bunch of test shoots. And then I came back the next summer um, for like a month with my mom and then a friend stayed with us and I stayed and did little jobs, showroom, test shoots, the whole thing. But I was really into school. I wanted to apply to colleges. So I really only modeled in the summer and then would go back during the school year and just finish school, focus on my studies. Um, after I applied to colleges, um, applied everywhere, I wanted to get out and I ended up accepting at Miami University in Florida and deferring because IMG was like, we want you to move to Milan. Like that's a great way to develop your career like as a new model. Uh, Cause New York's very competitive and maybe there's not as much going on. So we want you to go to Milan. I was like, cool, Milan, wow. You know, sounds amazing. So I moved to Milan. I was terrified. My parents flew me there cause they're, you know, proper protective American Missouri parents who just, you know, they didn't want to just send me off. They were like, okay, we'll fly you out there, drop you off, spend a vacation and like make sure you're okay and then leave. So I moved to Milan for a month. It was a month and it was, I hate to say this because I, I really don't like to focus on the negative, but it was like the worst month of my life. I was so miserable. I cried every single night. I knew no one. My roommate was gone. I had a roommate in a model's apartment. She was gone working the whole time. I just spent the whole day like going to castings, trying to figure out the public transportation, you know, tram to bus to whatever. And obviously didn't speak Italian and just had no friends. So I was lonely. I was like, what do I do here? Yeah, so that sucked. I basically just ate my way through Milan, never had a diet, ate so much pizza and pasta because I was just depressed. I ended up meeting some really good friends. One of my best friends, Monica, who's my best friend and like we met in Milan and have been best friends ever since. Um, she's actually French and lives in Paris. So I really only see her when I'm there. But long story short, I get back from Milan. It was a great experience because I really grew and I did a lot of editorials and random jobs and shows and test shoots and everything. So it ended up being really good for my career, but emotionally I was like, this is horrible. All my friends are like on summer and they're about to go to college and like, this is just sucky. And I remember coming back from Milan and they were like, okay, you know, in order to move to New York, like you have to be in great shape, you know? you got Your body's gotta like look the best you've ever looked. And I looked like the worst I'd ever looked because I gained literally three and a half inches of my hips. Anyways, long story short, I moved back to St. Louis for a month and a half. I went on like this hardcore diet, workout regimen, super healthy, like ate only fish, vegetables, green vegetables, like protein shakes, egg whites, worked out like once or twice a day. Like it's literally all I did. Cause all my friends are in college. I had no one but my parents. And I was like, this is what I want to do. You know, I got to get my body in shape. So I lost like multiple inches off my hips, my measurement on my butt. I had like a big butt. And then I moved to New York to the model's apartment. Six girls, one bedroom, bunk beds, like not super chic at all. But I honestly had the best time ever. I was modeling, working, going out with friends, made so many friends, like had a great time. Then Hurricane Sandy hit and I moved back to St. Louis. Then they were like, we're gonna move you to London. So I was like, okay, so I moved to London. That was another experience that I didn't like. Like 
I don't like to be my, by myself. I didn't have any friends. I didn't really know anyone. So I'd just go and I'd cast and I'd come home and go to sleep. And I just did that for like a month. Then they moved me back to New York. And then I was there for two months. And then they moved me back to Milan for two months. But this time was a lot better because I ended up moving with one of my best friends who I met in the New York apartments. And we went into Milan for two months together and we did the same thing. Worked, built our book built experience, the whole thing. I came back from Milan, spent the summer in New York, and then the agency was like, we want you to do Fashion Week. And I was like, oh my God, I was like terrified of Fashion Week. I I don't know, like I always heard horror stories like, oh, it's horrible, you don't sleep, you don't you don't have time to eat, you go to fitting, fitting, casting, casting. And I was like, oh my God, do I wanna do this? But I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. So I did Fashion Week. New York was very chill. I didn't really do that many shows because I remember I was holding an option for Prada and they were like, don't do like crazy amounts of shows. Like we want to keep it like cool and I don't know, low key. I was like, okay, whatever. I had no idea. I just let them handle it. I went to London, did a couple in London. And then once I was in Milan, I went and did the casting for Prada. I booked it. I remember I stayed from the time of my fitting was at like midday. I stayed all the way to the, like through the night where they bleached my hair at like 3 a.m. I have a picture I'll never forget of me getting my hair bleached at 3 a.m. White, white, white. Bleached brows, the whole thing. The show was the next morning at really early. I go, I do the show, I walk the show. And then after that, I just got a lot of the shows. I was, it was like what you call a semi-exclusive. I didn't think I did anything in Milan before that, but then I did stuff after that. And I had that white hair that I had for like two, two and a half more years after that. Yeah, I think the modeling world back then was a lot different. Nowadays, you can have a super successful show, she show season and then just like disappear and not do much after that. Where I guess back then, it was like the girls who did shows did all the shows and then all the magazine and then all the campaigns. And it was like all of us together. This was 2013. That was awesome. I mean, I was dying so skinny, just like sinus infection, but just like doing really well and like was happy inside, but just like exhausted, you know? Um, and after that, I came back, whatever, worked, did really well and got some cool editorials, not many campaigns, just more editorials. And then I remember I did the Victoria's Secret casting, which I was like, this would never, ever, ever, ever happen in a million years, but whatever. Like, why would they ever want me? But it's fine, I'm gonna cast, because why not? And I did the first round of castings, so scared, terrified. I got the callbacks, it was the same thing, terrified, it was like, they'll never pick me, but cool, I'm just gonna go in there and just screw it. And got the show and that was really like the most insane moment of my life i was just i couldn't believe it i was i remember i was in zara buying a scarf and my agent was calling me and i was like oh god like do i have a job tomorrow like what's going on you know a little nervous like whenever my agent calls it's either like a job or something's up or they want you to come in so it's like whoo your heart gets racing and he's like i just wanted to call you because you got the victoria's secret show and i was like screamed i mean everyone in the store looked at me and i was like what oh my god oh my god i have to call my mom call my mom my boyfriend at the time my mother agent my sister i think i called her my dad and it was insane and i walked it and it was like the best experience ever so i know that was a long story but i get so many questions and i don't even know how to answer in a fast way of how did you start modeling besides saying i was discovered at a bar mitzvah um so i just wanted to tell you guys the full detailed story of kind of how obviously that was still six seven years ago that i walked my first via show so six shows later and six years later i'm here and it's been a whirlwind experience and i wanted to give you guys the full lowdown on how it went because i think a lot of people they see social media and they see our lives or my life and they have an idea of really what it's like to be a model or how we got here and all of a sudden I woke up and I just like I'm doing the jobs I'm doing or you know whatever and it's just it's so not like that because I put in so many long nights hours years in every country and like I put in work and it's not always overnight success like overnight success doesn't exist that's one of my favorite quotes is I wanted to share that with you guys and my tips for models 
who want to you know expand their career or get into modeling my first tip would be go meet local agencies don't try to just go bounce into like the most major city you can think of and you need to find an agent who supports you and believes in you isn't on the same page because i met with other agents who were like oh you need to quit sports you need to be careful you don't want to injure yourself and you need to do this this, this. and that's like not what i wanted that was not in my idea of of who i wanted to be and where i wanted to go and uh, so that relationship wouldn't have worked so you need to meet with local agencies you need to find an agent in the local spot where you where you are or if you're in the middle of nowhere like go to the nearest you know city i'm from missouri for god's sakes like i found one <laughs> they actually have multiple there anyways find someone who really believes in you and has those core you know values that you have and want to keep and then after that just build slowly like i wouldn't rush into it if i was in high school i would do what i did and you know work in the summer build your career slowly don't just like quit high school and like go be model like you can you can model when you're 18 i didn't technically start full-time modeling till i was 18 and even if you're over 18 even if you're 20 25 30 like i would say it's never too late like you never know i have friends who modeled for years and nothing happened and then when they were 28 they like blew up you know so you just you really never know what's gonna happen so find somebody who believes in you and supports you and have a good support system and know that it's going to be rough and not easy at all because there's I, there were so many times that i was so sad and depressed but like i guess i just pushed through and now i'm so thankful for everything that's happened to me because i mean half of it is luck and the other half is hard work and people who believe in you so it's all about timing i would just say also to stay true to yourself because there's so many people in this world and in this industry who will knock you down and be rude or insult you or not believe in you or say you're gonna be nothing and they have no idea i remember one of the meetings in new york one of the agencies looked at me and was like you're so disgustingly tan i can't even show my manager or my boss these these digitals of you because you're so disgustingly tan i was like a uh, near cry my mom was like it's fine and then two days later img model side me so you, you never what's that quote you could be the juiciest peach in the world but not everybody's gonna love peaches so find that one person that believes in you and go with that person and believe in yourself and know that there's no such thing as overnight success you have to work for it for years and years sometimes for it to happen and never give up and just stay true to who you are and what you believe in because you're going to be pushed to do things maybe you don't want to do and you got to stick up for yourself because sometimes other people aren't there to stick up for you yeah i think social media is a really cool tool nowadays because maybe you feel like you're in the middle of missouri and you don't know what to do but you can reach out to any local agency or find agencies online or you know submit photos online then people can find you online that's kind of the beauty of online you know so i think that's my last bit of advice for people trying to model and the, i get so many questions about the weight thing too and it's be true to who you are if you believe i don't want to be any skinnier i want to be just like this this is the size i want to be this is like who i am then great go out and do it because i've seen so many girls who come in and maybe at first they feel the pressure to be a certain size but then they go out and they kill it the exact size that they are you know i think there's enough room in this industry for so many types of women or men people you don't even have to be tall anymore people are like what's the minimum height i'm like i know girls who are killing it now who are super short i think anyone can really be a model it's just a matter of who's gonna stick with it and work their butts off not take any crap well we take we take some crap but like internally you know you're like you take it but you're like no it's okay i still believe in myself <laughs> like people can insult me to my face and i'm like cool and then i go home and i'm fine so you can't take it too close to the heart yeah that's my advice. I hope this wasn't incredibly boring and I'm sure if you thought it was boring, you would have clicked out by now. But I wanted to share my story with you guys since it's such a frequently asked question and I wanted to just be real because my journey has been long and crazy and that's just summed it up in, I don't know, 20 minutes when in reality, it's been a much longer and crazier journey to me but i'm so grateful for you guys to have you along the way and have your support because you guys are one major thing that helps keep me going when i'm maybe sad or i feel like i'm not working enough or doing enough or being enough i just stop comparing myself to everybody and i'm like okay focus on you Devin, and all your supportive comments and pictures or whatever it may be or fans coming up to me honestly like make my week because it's like wow i'm really doing something and i'm really touching a lot of people and that makes me so happy so thanks guys
You're the best. And I wish you a very great evening or morning. I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this video, but I need to go to bed now because I'm exhausted and take off all this beautiful makeup that my girl Andriani did. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for listening. Always believe in yourself and always know that hard work always pays off. Thank <laughs> you.